Hey, how's it going everybody? Up for review today, I have here from the Saga Collection, Star Wars Special Offer Ultimate Galactic Hunt 2006 Return of the Jedi Biker Scout. Damn, that was a long title. Excuse my language there. But yes, this is the Saga Collection Biker Scout from the Return of the Jedi. Now this is before Vintage Collection, when they really started to do much better with articulation and, and card work on their Star Wars, their mean, they meaning Hasbro, uh, their Star Wars line, because with G.I. Joe, they always add fully articulated characters, but back with this, they gave it that vintage collection look with fully articulated figures, and I really liked it, but they didn't do that many figures. And then they did what they did with the return or revenge of the, um, the Sith line with that awkward articulation that was at an angle midway through the forearm. But here we go. Here is the Saga Collection um, 2006 Galactic Hunt. You can see the back of the card. Five back with those original characters. And let's open this guy up and check him out because he's nice. And I like the indoor battle scene. Though I think they should have incorporated a lot more of the Rebel Troopers just to help out with the Ewoks because of the great disadvantage um, the Ewoks would have against the Imperial armor of the Emperor army. But must not have been that great because they sure did penetrate their arrows, sure did penetrate through them. Well, anyways, let's check this guy out. All right, well, here we go with the Biker Scout. And he's fully articulated. Knees. Ball jointed, doesn't type or extend, that's okay, I don't need it to. Ankles, forward, backwards on the legs, hips do not abduct, abdominal crunch, correct, yep, goes all the way around. Shoulders are pretty articulated, as well as the elbows bilaterally, and you have the rotation at the forearm. Now, this figure right here, if you put him in a biker scout and have him holding on to the handles for a while, just be careful because the, the plastic will stretch out the hands a little bit and it'll be a little difficult to holster his weapon in his hand. Luckily, he has these two fingers to put into the trigger uh, area. And he has the holster here on the right side of his boot. He's got nice paint detail. He's got a little bit of dirt at the feet. Kind of dirty in the mid waist, but it's also a, probably a different coloring because it's an entirely different piece. But it's a little bit of yellowish. Hopefully that's not gonna be from aging. He's got a little paint detail here, a little bit of red. Other than the black and white, that's the only other color change. And he's, I remember when I was a kid, this is, I, I first saw him, I'm, uh, I was like all over, it's like I want the toy. It was my favorite for a while. But you know, now I still think I like the original Stormtrooper. They're, they're all pretty cool, but I, I don't have too many of these guys. This is only my third one that's fully articulated. And then to show you what the original Return of the Jedi Kenner looks like he's right here. And I just don't have his pistol with him. But yes, the Biker Scout here is pretty cool. And uh, I don't have any others other than these two, so I don't have Power of the Force or anything like that. But I'm pretty impressed with this one, him being articulated. And I like the details in the pouches, how he's got them at the side, not only at the, the mid-abdomen, but the hips. You can't really do anything with them, put anything into them. But, uh, yeah. You know, simple, kind of a simple character, but he's pretty cool. And I guess there's not really much more to say about this guy because he's... That's pretty much all all he has. But pretty cool uh, army, little, little cool army builder. And there you have it. The uh, trilogy, I'm sorry, the uh, Saga Collection from 2006. Now another Imperial 
trooper to add on to my forces here. So there you have it, everybody. I'll leave you with a few pictures at the end of it in diorama setting so you can see what he looks like in comparison, you know, in play setting or diorama, whatever. But you guys have a good day, and thanks for watching. And until next time, see you later.